The paper by Muratori Petroni and myself from the University of Florence was recently published in Oncotargets and Therapy. This paper addresses one of the key challenges in the clinical management of colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer uh, uh, affects more than 1 million people per year and represents the third common cancer type in men and the second most common cancer type in women. Treatment options are based on the TNM stage of the disease. While stage 1 patients are treated with surgery and stage 3 requires chemotherapy after the surgery, for stage 2 patients, clinicians still grapple with, with the decision of treating or not with chemotherapy after surgery. Nowadays, this choice is based on clinical pathological parameters, while molecular biomarkers are still lacking. So we tested the validity of two novel biomarkers, one potassium channel, the HERB channel, and the membrane transporter for glucose, GLUT1. We studied the validity of these two biomarkers in uh, surgically resectable colorectal cancer cases, encompassing stage 1 to 3. It emerged that HERB1 has a negative impact on survival, whereas GLUT1 has a positive impact on survival. This is much more evident from the curves shown here. In these curves, we divided the, the patients into groups based on the stage. So we have a group stage 3 and based on the positivity or negativity to HER1 and GLUT1 respectively. And it is clear that the, the group of patients in stage 1 and 2 it turned out to be HER positive and GLUT negative have a horse prognosis with respect to the other stage 1 and 2 groups and even independently of the adjuvant care chemotherapy that was applied. So we conclude that this group of patients, I repeat, stage 1 and 2, ERG positive and GLUT negative, having a horse prognosis could be uh, candidates for adjuvant chemotherapy. So we propose to rapidly translate these results into the clinics by providing a kit of immunostochemistry based on the two antibodies against HER1 and against GLUT1 to be used on surgical samples for all the stage 2 patients just after surgery.